idea is to apply an external input, an acceleration, essentially to keep it balanced. And uh, we've all probably done this t type of thing at some point in our lives, either childhood or not. And then, in general, we can expect some disturbances, and I'm going to represent the disturbances in terms of an angular acceleration which shows up around the weight at the top of the rod. The acceleration that's applied to the cart externally, or in the case of balancing my son's horse, it's the movement of my hand. And then through the system dynamics, that ends up influencing the angle of the rod. And we'll think of the angular uh, the, the angle of the rod as the system output. The output angle processed through some appropriate feedback dynamics using that to control the acceleration of the cart. And if we choose the feedback dynamics correctly, then in fact we can end up with a stable system even though the open loop system is unstable. So now we're changing the mass at the top of the, the pendulum by a considerable amount, and again, the system basically can respond to it. Now, this is a fairly complicated system. The liquid is sloshing around. We, in fact, as you can see, have an instability right now, although it's controlled, and that's because the physics or the dynamics has changed, and we can put a little bit more mass into the system, and maybe or maybe not, that will cut down on the instability. Okay, well, in fact, what happened there is that we increased the mass at the top of the pendulum slightly, and uh, that provided just enough damping to stabilize the system. Hat sich bekommen beim Matting zu warnen, Test.